loaded with ammo. Let's put it in there. Zip it up, expose the pull tab, because you definitely want that. Two point seven seven with a split of point six one. Okay, let's do a little bit more with some movement of getting off that X. Yeah. What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're talking about the favorite item of the year for me, and that is the 945 Industries Tactical Fanny Pack. So let's get into it. You guys have seen my other videos on the 945 Industries Tactical Bag, and I gotta say, you know, like I said in those videos, I do like this bag. And now my question is to people who are watching this for the first time or have been watching my long form videos on this bag is, should you carry one? Should you use one for your everyday carry? And to that I say, good question. <laughs> here's, the, here's the way I look at it. I carry both uh, in the 945 Industries tactical bag and on my waist. Uh, more specifically, I carry at 12 o'clock right here. To me, like I like that in the summertime, it's, it's okay, I use it. But to be totally honest, I've been veering towards the option of this right here uh, for this summer. Uh, sorry, if, I, if I'm spitting or like, <clears throat> there's these bugs all over and it's just, it's crazy. They're, they're everywhere. Uh, anyway, th the thing is that I find myself drawing a whole lot faster from the tactical fanny pack than when I, you know, when I'm carrying appendix. Before I get into shooting here, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by 945 Industries. So if you go to 945industries.com and use my code JQ10 at checkout, your entire order gets 10% off. So go ahead and use that code JQ10. You get 10% off. It's awesome. It's very big thank you to the team over at 945 Industries. All right, let's go through some drills here and kind of just show you why I love using this bag every day. So just for reference, I have a steel target. The target is approximately uh, nine to 10 yards away in that distance of the 21 feet rule of you know someone coming at you or that distance closing where you have enough time to draw a weapon or defend yourself. So here is, uh, here, here's, <coughs> here it is, <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, maybe not. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. Whoo, baby. That was 1.28 uh, out of the tactical fanny pack. Now, people are gonna say, Johnny, you have your hand already on the pull tab. That's cheating. Do it from inside your pockets or up here. And I mean, yes, definitely, you know. Okay, here, really quick. What I normally do, right? 1.54, about the same, not really, but kind of, right? So the reason why I put my hand and leave it on the pull tab is because I wanna train myself that if I'm out in public, either by myself with a group of friends or my family, and I see something weird going on, for example, I, I see a fight breakout, and for, and for whatever reason, the guy turns over to us, he gets a knife out or he has a pew pew, he's got a gun. I mean, I'm already here. I always say this, just be self-aware of your surroundings. Who, bah, bug, ah. I say be self-aware of your surroundings, who you're with and what's going on. Because for whatever reason, you may be, you know, hanging out, doing your thing and, and maybe some other guy has pulled out a knife and you have no idea. And so once you have your surroundings, you know, you know what's going on. You see something break out, you see a fight. You see a guy coming at you with a pew pew, a gun. I keep saying pew pew because I'm doing TikToks and I, my brain's on pew pew. But you see a guy coming at you with a gun because you've already seen that guy. You've already seen what's going on. Obviously, you should probably leave. But if you can't leave or it's too late, you're already here. Because if that guy starts coming at you slowly, you can do this and then this and then this and say, hey, back up. I got a gun. I, I will defend myself. Back up, back up. You know, start giving commands of, hey, drop the knife, drop the gun. If you don't stop, I'm gonna shoot you. And that all makes it possible because A, you were self-aware of your surroundings and B, you had this guy right here. 
And the pull tab makes it really useful because if you don't have all that time allotted to you and you don't have the luxury of time, well then pull tab gone out. I mean, it's that quick, it's that fast. And yeah, it's that easy. And I might make it look easy, but that's because I've already had, what, six months with this bag out here training almost every single week with the bag. So I kind of have it to a science to me. That's why I like this pull tab out here. Back to my original question. Should you carry something like this? Well, here's what I say. If you carry a gun for protection, if you carry it every single day, either on your waistband, 12 o'clock, three or four o'clock, six o'clock, whatever it might be, maybe something like this tactical fanny pack might give you a good break. And, you know, instead of trying to bend down awkwardly and trying to get things or uh, getting in the car and it's kind of uncomfortable, something like this could be a good relief for your waistline, for your back, you know, just doing everyday things that you wouldn't normally think about because you're carrying a gun would make it a lot easier because you're carrying something like this. Though this is concealed to an extent, it is outside. It's not under a, a shirt, a jacket. It's not under a sweater. It's out and kind of exposed to the point where everybody who sees you wearing this either thinks, oh, that guy is kind of a fruit uh, or that guy for sure is carrying a gun. And when I see this on guys, my initial reaction is, oh, that guy's got a gun, for sure got a gun. And so maybe one of the things that you should maybe think about is protecting this at all times, right? So not just, not just like doing this outside, not putting your hands in your pocket for a prolonged amount of time. And so, dude, I'm done with this video. <laughs> this is, oh man, these bugs are crazy. But just like being aware of, hey, you have a gun on here. It's not completely concealed, but it is in a fanny pack. So yeah, I think it's a great option for those who want to concealed carry in a different way. Uh, if you guys think so, please comment down below. If you disagree, comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, on this type of carry. With all of that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support. And I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.